morning family welcome back to the channel or good afternoon good evening whatever it is to you i hope you are having a good day today is pie making day for us so i'm gonna be trying a praline pumpkin pie which i've never made before and then just a regular pumpkin pie uh, following the libby's recipe that's on the back of their can so hopefully they turn out well um i got the pie crust at sam's um, last week when we went just these and I've never used these either um, for pie I use them for pot pies but hopefully everything comes together and we don't have any fails but it's a couple days before Thanksgiving so if we do have a fail we'll just pick one up from the store or plan B something else so yeah let's make these pies and then um, as always I'll share the link to the recipes down below so you guys can try them out at home and if you do end up trying any of the recipes that I post, um, let me know. I have a Facebook page, Dee's Happy Home. Uh, share a photo with me there. I would love to see the things you guys create. Or if you want to see something that I haven't done, let me know too. I would love to do it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on the praline pumpkin pie first. So I've got my saucepan out. I'm gonna add the pumpkin, brown sugar, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, salt, and cloves. And I'm gonna whisk to combine and cook over medium high heat for four minutes. Climb down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me Carolers are singing outside our door Lovely songs we all heard before As they walk from house to house To wish us all a Merry Christmas Day Got the burner on medium high gonna set a timer for four minutes and it says to stir continuously I've never had to heat the pie filling or anything so no clue going by the recipe I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven at this time to at 350 degrees y'all my arm is getting tired <laughs> one and a half minutes to go and it's getting hot I'll do it Ah, it is hot. All right, so now we remove from heat, add in our Eva braided milk, followed by the eggs and vanilla. By the fireplace, carolers are singing outside our door. Lovely songs we all heard before as they walk from house to I'm gonna crack my eggs um, in a separate bowl just so I don't get any shells or anything into our pie filling. Not gonna lie, I was a little afraid the eggs would scramble. All right, so now we just gotta pour our filling into the pie crust, so let's go get that pie crust ready. Okay, so the pie crust has been out for about 15 minutes or so, but it's still kind of chilly in the house. Hopefully they are thawed enough, but they were just in the fridge, so it should be okay. I don't know how to do those little fancy pie designs, so I'm just gonna try to make it look pretty. Am I supposed to trim it? Who knows? This might be a big no-no, guys. Who knows? I don't know. I've never worked with pie crust like this. All right, that works for me. Pike filling going in. I should probably put this on a tray for. All right, so now we are going to bake for 40 to 50 minutes until the pie is cracked around the edges and jiggly in the center. So we'll let the countdown begin. We 
we've got about seven minutes left on the uh, timer for the pie, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the praline topping together. Once we pull the pie out of the oven, we'll top it with this praline, add a little bit of sugar over that, and return it to the oven to bake some more. Just pulled the pie out of the oven. Now, it is not cracked like the recipe said, but the middle is pretty set, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just take it out now. I did end up covering the edge of the pie crust with some foil just because I thought it was getting a little bit too brown. So let me put this uh, streusel, I mean, Praline on top. Okay. All right, that looks really pretty. All right, so just gonna go back into the oven now. I'm gonna re-foil uh, the crust so it doesn't get too brown. And we are gonna bake for 20 minutes or until the toothpick inserted comes out clean. Going back in the oven. So just pulled the pie out of the oven. I removed the foil. We had a little bit of boiling over from the uh, the praline, but not too bad. Um, I forgot to show you guys, you're supposed to sprinkle one tablespoon of granulated sugar over the top, so that's what the white stuff is. Um, but yeah, smells really good, looks really good. So hopefully it tastes good. We'll find out on Thursday. This has to cool for about two hours and then um, I'll go ahead and cover it and stick it in the fridge. I am going to bake the other pumpkin pie later on. Mr. Atlas is getting pretty fussy, so we're about to get him down for a nap. All right, so we are back from nap time. We've got Atlas finishing up some lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the, um, just the regular pumpkin pie into the oven. And I'm just gonna follow the famous pumpkin pie recipe that's on the back of these Libby cans. Um, so I've got the oven preheated to 425 already. So I'm gonna get my pie crust and get that Ooh. into the shell. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all my dry ingredients in this small bowl. I mixed those together, so I'm gonna do 3 fourths cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, and a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. Alright, so got the dry ingredients mixed, now on to the wet ingredients. It says beat the eggs in a large bowl and then stir in the pumpkin and dry ingredient mixture. Once we get that in the bowl, then we'll gradually stir in um, our evaporated milk. On this cold December day, we are on our merry way, riding along, just singing a song, barreling through the snow. Bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling, Rudolph knows where to go. All right, so just gotta pour it into the pie shell and bake it for 15 minutes at 425, then we're gonna reduce the temperature to 350 and cook it for another 30 to 40 minutes. Going in the oven. So while we wait for that pumpkin pie to finish, um, that was not gonna be as pretty as the praline pie because it's already overflowed. The pan kind of went wonky and spilled pie everywhere, pumpkin everywhere. But uh, while I wait for that, I'm gonna go ahead and make some more Uncrustables. I felt like I just made these yesterday. But um, we got more Wonder Bread at Sam's and then I had pulled this bread out of the freezer because I thought we were out. But we still had a bunch of bread in there. So I need to use that up before it goes bad. So I'm crust bowl making is what I'm doing again. Let's get to it. Alrighty, 
so just pulled our pumpkin pie out of the oven um, <laughs> our crust is a little dark and I told you we had some overflow so we've got a bunch of pie around the corner around the edges but no biggie nothing a whole lot of whipped cream can't fix hopefully it still tastes good all right guys so the pies are all cold we got them in the fridge all ready for Thanksgiving thank you guys for hanging out with us and baking today don't forget to like our video and if you are new don't forget to subscribe to the channel to join our YouTube family we'll see you guys in the next one